since it's a new year, there's a ton of tech companies who are hiring. And especially they're looking for machine learning engineers, data scientists, and data analysts. This is also the same for a lot of startups. So I really wanted to make a video on how you guys can land an entry level role as a machine learning engineer at a startup. A lot of people will tell you that you should probably not apply for startups if you're at an entry level position. But I truly disagree with that. In fact, I urge you to apply for startups even at entry level positions. There are actually startups who are hiring people at these levels. And it's such a great way to start your career because the level of experience that you get at a startup is incomparable to the kind of experience that you would get at some other well-established company. So if you are thinking of starting your career in machine learning, going for a startup is a great, great start to your career. I've broken the whole process down into five really simple steps that you guys can follow and hopefully successfully land a role at a startup. So step number one is identifying the industry that you want to work in. Step number two is checking out popular websites like angel.co. Step number three is building a really powerful portfolio and profile. And step number four is connecting and building connections with people in your startup. Step number five is to apply. Step number one is identifying the exact type of industry that you guys want to work with. A lot of people actually skip this step because they don't think that it's important, but it's such an important step and you guys should not skip it. So for example, working in a fintech company versus working in a health tech company, the type of data that you're going to be dealing with is completely different. And probably even the type of tools and algorithms that you guys are going to be using are going to be completely different. So yeah, you're machine learning engineers in both of these companies, but the type of work that you're doing is completely different. So identifying exactly the type of industry that you want to work with is such an important thing. And that should be the first step that you guys do. To identify the type of industry that you guys want to work with, you can probably look at your own portfolio, you know, what kind of projects have you done and what kind of projects really stood out to you and you actually enjoyed working with. So you can kind of align that with the type of industry that you want to go into. Or if you're someone who is probably starting out and you could be more open to the type of industry that you want to work with as well. So that's perfectly fine. Step number two is looking at various job posting websites. The most popular ones are obviously LinkedIn, Glassdoor, these type of uh, websites. But I find that uh, they're not really that great, especially if you want to look at startup jobs. So that's why I really recommend angel.co. It's a much better website and it's catered to startups. It's a great website where you can see the type of funding level that startups are at. Uh, you can even see the organization structure. So who's the CEO, who's a recruiter, what kind of people are in your team, who's exactly in your team. So you can see all of that on angel.co, which you can probably not see on LinkedIn. So I think it's a great advantage to look at a website like that. To give you guys a better understanding, let's look at the angel.co website. So to be able to access all the jobs that they have on there, you do have to create a profile. So once you have done that, you can go and look at all the jobs. So you probably come to a page which looks like this, where you can search for job titles and also locations. So let's look at machine learning engineer. And let's see, let's see India. Let's see what's up. Okay, so we have about 317 results. Let's try to filter that down since we are looking for entry level positions. So let's try to filter that by the amount of years. So maybe zero to two years. Let's see. Let's also look for a data, data scientist as well. All right. So the advantage with uh, angel.co, as I was saying, was you guys can easily look at the type of salaries that they're offering, like each of these startups are offering. And also if startups are offering equity, some startups do offer that. So it's great to know all of these information. So guys, let's look at this company called Deep Effects. 
DeepFX is a cloud-based voice intelligence platform driven by AI for, for the enterprise to quickly integrate secure, scalable, and highly accurate speaker identification. So they're looking for a machine learning engineer in Mumbai. And when you click on that, you can kind of see what they're looking for. So experience, one plus years. You can kind of say this is entry level and uh, you can see exactly what you'll be doing as well. So speech analysis, text analysis, speech recognition, and the type of uh, technologies and frameworks that you should know. So a solid understanding of classical machine learning and deep learning concepts and proficiency in Python, C or Java, proficiency in machine learning tools such as TensorFlow, Keras, Cafe, PyTorch or Tiano, okay. And an advanced degree in computer science. So they have all this information and an email where you guys can actually reach out to the company as well. You can also see exactly the type of capital that the company has raised. So you know what type of uh, startup level this startup is at. And you can see who the founders are as well. So these two people are the founders. So when you have information like this, I would suggest reaching out to the founders because that will really put you ahead. Step number three is creating a really powerful profile. So LinkedIn is a really good platform that you guys should have a really professional and good profile out there. So one of the first things is have any certifications that you guys have done, whether it's on Coursera or Udemy, have it listed on your LinkedIn so that people know the type of certifications that you guys have completed. And next up, it would be really great if you guys can get a website for yourself, at least a GitHub, but if you guys can have your own personal websites where people can easily see the type of projects that you have been working on, that will take your, that will take your application to the next level. And having a really concise and clear about me a description is also really great, especially on angel.co. I feel like a lot of startups uh, look for that. So definitely try to see that. I'm going to create an entire video on how you guys should showcase your portfolio as a machine learning engineer, because I think this is a really important topic that everyone is trying to find out more information about. So I think I'll dedicate an entire video to this. But the most important thing to remember is that on your LinkedIn, you guys should have different certifications that you guys have completed, uh, whether it's some machine learning course or some deep learning course, definitely have it on there. And also have a link to your GitHub somewhere on your LinkedIn. And if you can go above and beyond, I think the best case scenario would be having your own personal website where people can access your projects. Step number four is building connections with key people in the startup that you're applying to. So whether it is the recruiter or even the co-founder or CEO, it should be someone who actually has some decision-making process into whether you're gonna get hired or not. So the best way to build connections is obviously connecting with uh, this person on LinkedIn. That's one of the best ways that you guys can go about it. Reach out to them. Uh, tell them what you do, you know, tell them the projects you've done, tell them why you are interested in their startup and what you can bring to their startup. So when it comes to startups, they're obviously looking for people who can wear many hats, people who can do many roles and many functions. So it really helps if besides being a machine learning engineer, maybe you have some sort of other experience which is valuable to them as well. So. Unlike companies where you can technically just maybe apply online and send your application in online, it really helps if you can actually connect with someone at a startup before actually sending in your application. This will take your entire application to a different level because they've actually gotten to know you and you've actually taken time and effort to reach out to them, which is really important. A lot of startups are understaffed and they just don't have the resources to go through tons of applications. So they usually tend to hire people that they already know who are qualified for the job. So it really helps if you are someone who has taken time and effort to actually reach out to someone who is a key player at a startup. So that really pushes your portfolio and that really pushes your application forward. 
So once you've done all that, the last step is to actually apply. So technically at this stage, you can go ahead and actually send your application into their website, or you can even just send your application in to the person you're contacting through to LinkedIn or even email. Okay, so that was a lot of information to take in. So let's have a recap. To successfully get a role at a startup, there's five key steps that you guys can follow. Step number one is identifying the exact industry that you guys want to work in. Step number two is looking at popular websites like angel.co and identifying the exact startups that you guys want to apply to. Step number three is building a strong profile on LinkedIn or even angel.co. Step number four is connecting with key players in the startups that you're applying to, whether it's on LinkedIn or email. And step number five is to apply. I hope these steps were helpful for you guys and let me know what you guys thought of these in the comment section below and see you in my next video.